There is something here that is very confusing. Is this a level 49 paladin in Feralus trying to kill a mob that's level 54? What? This is gonna be painful to watch, guys, because there's gonna be so many... So he pulled a Shadow Stalker as well, which is insanely high level too. Why are you here? Okay, so you're running away, which is... I mean, yeah. He's a Giga Chat. This guy is a Giga... Yeah, absolute Giga Chat. Oh my god, it did so little damage. I don't know why they're not using a, uh, an aura, though. There's the Enrage, though. 50% this boss enrages. Okay, Bobble into healing full up. A bandage as well to save some mana, which is good. Do they have Lay on Hands on cooldown still? Bag of Marbles coming up now, which reduces the hit chance of the, of the mob. Okay, yeah, Lay on Hands is on cooldown 15 minutes. There's no way. You just miss everything! Forbearance falls off in 14 seconds, which means he, he can't Blessing and Protection in 14 seconds. But he has a rend up now, so he can bandage. 6%? No! Dude, this guy is he hella shredded. What the hell? Bro, <laughs> that sucks. I mean, respect for going for it. Using a red, using the red aura or a devotion or basically anything would definitely have done that 179 damage. Even if it was the devotion, he would have taken less damage. Red, he would have done some some thorn damage. Any aura would have saved him here, except like you know the stupid like these ones here. Level 55 hardcore rogue death. You have no Tisselty, you have no Evasion, no Blade Flurry, no Adrenaline Rush. You have Vanish, so you do have Vanish on cooldown, or off cooldown. So that is the only thing you have to deal with here. Okay, so Sprint got used there. Okay, so now you can't use Sprint to get away. Okay, so he blinded the other mob and now he's attacking the Searing Ghoul. It's gonna fire Nova. You need to gouge that caster when it comes out. Or LOS it. You have that. Oh my god, you failed your vanish! Oh my god, and now you're pulling everything. You need to gouge that Searing Ghoul, not that one. The Searing Ghoul! Okay, jumping over the fence, that's good. That means the. Maybe run up the ramp. Run up the ramp and then, then jump off so the mobs have to run further. No. The parry, the gouge. These mobs execute. Oh my god. Don't run into that Searing Ghoul. Don't you dare run into that Searing Ghoul. Oh my gosh, you need to couch, 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 couch! Bro! Did you, did you, I think he vanished just as he got hit by the spell. That's why it failed, guys. Hold on, let me, let me just see. Yeah. You vanished just as the mob had hit the spell, like... The mob Shadow Bolt has went through, and then you vanished, and then the Shadow Bolt goes... If you don't know, the Shadow Bolt, any cast goes through Vanish if it's cast before you vanish. So the the, 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 the cast was going through, then you vanish, and it goes through the, the Vanish. He did, you did okay with running afterwards, but I think the only thing you could have done different here is run up the ramp, right? Because if you run up this ramp right here, you can go up there and then jump off, and then the mobs run up here, and then as you jump off, then they had to go down, right? God damn. That little gouge here could have saved you, though. If you gouged that mob right there, you would maybe wouldn't have died. Maybe. Ah. A nice little comfy fishing, guys. Look at this guy. This, this was sent in the Discord, guys, in the React section. And uh, I guess he's going to fish up something good. Are you a believer in, like, the more you do something, the more the odds improve that you'll get something? Or it's the odds are the same every time? I mean, I mean, the more you do something, you'll have a chance at getting it, but it doesn't increase your chance at getting it. Each roll is an independent roll. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's see what he's fishing up. Okay, so he's just fishing in the... He's fishing the slime. Okay. I don't think I've ever fished here before. Like, ever. That the, 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 never, the, chance, the odds never improve. I got the one ring. I got oh! the one ring! Are you fucking serious? I got the one ring! Dude, Gollum is gonna be pissed when he hears about that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo! 
I have never seen anyone actually loot this before. That's so cool. There, I remember there used to be a, uh, when I ever played Classic, there was a guy on the server I played on called uh, Smeagol. Like a little, it was a male uh, gnome, like level 10 or something that like ran around in Stormwind, like harassed people trying to get them to, to buy him the one ring. It was really funny, man. Oh! Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. What? Oh what? What? Ow? He was too fast. Let's look. Oh, yeah, he got oh, attacked yeah, got in Cleave. By the lobby Cleave. Yeah, I also get How much did that hit for? Bro, you yeah, could. Yeah, just the debuff, too. Yeah. That's why. There was I a double hit for 3.3k. <laughs> Beats wise, died. <laughs> Yeah. Bro, on trash! No, but 1 point second, 3.3k yeah. attack, 1.6k cleave. He got aggro and he instantly died. Like, he attacked before the tank had aggro and he just got one shot. <laughs> the problem is that the banish broke early, so I didn't taunt yet. You can taunt while he's banished, obviously. Yeah. So the banish was like 3 more I, seconds. I preserved mine because you're probably gonna get stunned immediately bro yeah guys you should always shield on trash guys because tanks get yeah. hurry and shit like that and they get zero threat I yep mean, it's all always... i swear we we've done this is our third molten core we've only had two deaths and they have both been on these packs these exact packs with the lava reavers they ju you just die if you get acro you get one shot well guys if in the chat for b twice F for the fallen. We must continue, exactly, guys. Yeah, but... Listen, Mr. Mr. Torrent, male warrior, you better not fall off these cliffs, okay? Oh my God, he has corpse maker, man. My man is level thirty-one with a corpse maker and has sweeping strikes. If I can sneak around. Maybe you should charge that mob to. Wait, where are you going? Oh, maybe he's not doing the escort. Shimmering. Have you done any shimmering yet? Uh... Oh, he's not doing the escort. I thought he was doing the escort. Okay. There's four mobs there. Maybe you should pull that one back first. Just get this mob. Oh shit. Yeah, just sweeping strikes and you kill, you one shot these two mobs here. Rending? Okay. Uh, guys, when you get above level twenty, rend is literally useless. Actually, when you get above level ten, sweeping strikes. You're not gonna hit. You need to be. You you're not. Oh gosh. Yeah, maybe maybe like pummel or like kick one of the mobs and bring it closer. You, oh gosh, man. Ah oh, shit, I'm just gonna run. Yeah, maybe oh, no. running is a good oh, idea. No. Pop a potion. Okay, you you still oh, have no. shield wall up, and you also. Oh, no. oh gosh. I have nowhere to go. You you have. Oh gosh, I. Oh no, this is terrible. Yeah, this is terrible. Oh, maybe god. you should pummel kick. The... Oh my god. Um. I think this guy hardcore panicked. That, I, that was a lot of things that went wrong here, guys. All right, the rend, not stacking with the sweeping strikes, no shield wall, no, no fear. I hope he learns from it, though. All right, I hope he learns from it. He goes back and he sees like, okay, I could have done this. I should maybe have stacked the mobs a little bit better. I should maybe have cleaved them, maybe kicked it, maybe popped a shield wall, stuff like that. A very tough situation in the 1K needles. Key mistakes. Not not hard swapping to the cast right away once I kill the first one. Not swapping to sword and board to get an, off an interrupt. True. Not fearing the final caster mob as I was running away. I think a fear on the caster would have saved me. I think the number one thing here, sweeping strikes is what makes warrior good above level 30 with a good two-hander sweeping strikes when you when you stack two mobs up and pop sweeping strikes in one cleave it will literally kill both mobs instantly it is very powerful